guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be very different than the last videos. I'm actually going to be doing a room tour. So I guess we'll just jump right in. So here is the entrance to my room. So you come in, there's two walk-in closets. My roommate and I have this little hook for our keys. And then I have this rug that I bought from Amazon. This is the overview here. Um, I have this rolling cart from Ikea. It is basically my holy grail of cooking. Um, I've got like just pots and pans and Tupperware and spare bottles down here. And then I've got my French press and then my plates are back there. Up top we have my little fruit basket, which I often forget is also a colander. My mugs, coffee, seasonings, utensils and whatever. And then up here I made this shelf with my dad. Since my bed is way too high to have a bedside table, we made this so that I could have my stuff up here. So I've got this beautiful little thing that Genesis made me. Uh, my roommate's mom gave me this. I've got two amazing books, just saying. Um, and my grandpa actually made this. I got this off of Pinterest and said, hey, can you make this? And he made it for me, so that was awesome. Up here, I have this garland thing. It's from Urban Outfitters. My bedding is kind of unique. My sheets, I actually dyed myself. I just got white sheets from Target and did indigo dye on them. This pillow, I believe, is from Urban Outfitters. This one my grandma made. And this is a cover from Amazon. My duvet cover is from Urban Outfitters as well. It just has these little tassels around it. Pro tip, the way dorm beds are, you have a lot of weird gaps. So I got this body pillow, but I don't use it as like normal body pillows. Um, I just stuff it back here so that my pillows don't fall down there. This blanket is like a big sweater blanket from Target. The poster is from Oahu. I have another shelf that my dad and I built. This shelf really scares all my friends because they don't think that the two command hooks can hold those books, but they totally can. I have another cool shelf. So I just have essential oils and room sprays up there. I have six tarot cards that this random man gave me. I've got my sage that I'm not allowed to burn. I've got my little crystals. So then down here, since my bed's so high, I use this to get on there, but it's also storage underneath, so I have like dry goods in there. Under my bed, I've got my hamper, my yoga mat. This is a drawer thingy. So I've got like my supplements and this little crate. And I just have a bunch of cooking stuff in here. This piece is actually from the school, if you couldn't tell by the beautiful wood color. Two drawers, and I just have school stuff in these. Just like lots of these desks. A lot of them have the option to like flip up that back piece or it can be laid flat in the back. I decided to extend my desk. Back here I have one of those like, flameless candle things. It's from Yankee. I've got my friends back there, some up here. My journals, I have other school stuff over here. Some spiritual stuff. I've got my calendar, which is from Paper Source. I'm pretty sure this shelving unit is from Ikea. Here's the overview of my desk. And there's, oh, I forgot my friends on top. There's pals, there's Annika back there. I just have like a desk drawer here. And then my chair, not very comfortable, but I put this faux fur thing on it from Ikea. So it's not such an eyesore. If you're on this video because you're actually interested in seeing what Lewis and Clark College dorms are like, these windows are not standard for every hall. This is for SOA, but we have these super weird screens that are like locked and loaded so you like have to be really careful with them but then our actual windows are really old school I don't know we have typical blinds we just have these kombucha bottles full of lavender from outside I have my oh so sad dead plant I built this Blair Witch Project looking plant hanger I have the standard recycling bin and trash can and that comes with every room but my fairy lights that are around the entire room those are from Target so now we'll go into the closet so I actually installed this pressure bar for a curtain because for some reason my specific dorm does not have doors on the closets most of them do we turn on the light in here we have some 
hooks. I got like my purses, my belts, hats. I got my towel, scarves and things. And then once again, I built these jewelry holders. And I just have these little lights in here because last semester my main light flickered like no other. Keep in mind, once again, if you're here for like looking at Lewis and Clark, all of the walk-in closets are different. The closets are looked completely different. So this is not the standard. So we have a small bar. All my shoes underneath. Over here I've got like my loose ends jewelry, just like my products that I use. I've got two little bins from Container Store and I just have like stuff in them. <laughs> this is just full of like makeup and stuff. Got other products. Definitely have too many. This room came with a full length mirror. We also have this whole thing of storage. So I just have socks and like t-shirts, pants. Over here I have this cute thing that I bought from Ikea. Definitely overstuffed but that's fine. I just have like hair stuff, accessories, um, bandanas. But I have like my reusable bags and things here. It's pretty much it for my side. Oh let me show you what it's like with the lights off. So it's like kind of dark but it's not so harsh um so i usually don't have a main light on here is my roommate's closet she just has stuff a little bit differently than i do not gonna go too into depth we have like a matching setup from this view so we have similar carts um she's got like a collage and her little desk area so this is raised not lofted if you don't know the difference um lofted has two of these end pieces stacked so your bed is like a bunk bed this is just raised um so hers is partially raised but it's a lot easier to sit on if you have people over just like i do she uses her under bed space for storage here is the final overview there's a front door in case i didn't ever say that i forgot to mention this celestial chart is from blick art store they have posters like this at miss tiggy winkles if you're from riverside i hope there's people walking by i feel awkward I really wanted one of these videos when I was looking to come to Lewis and Clark because I looked up dorm tours just because I was curious to see what the setup could be like. Also each dorm here is definitely different. If you are a prospective student, feel free to leave a comment, ask me any questions. I am relatively knowledgeable about the other options here. This is a SOA dorm. I'm also in the holistic wellness community. If you have any questions about that, reach out to me, but if you're just a college student in general or incoming freshman for this next year. Um, I hope this gave you some inspiration. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!